Douglas Robinson. I am a solutions consultant at Beyond 20. In this video, we're going to be reviewing a small but useful feature that we can add to our incident management process that will allow us to search for an owner of a ticket, uh, much like the search for classifications that you see off at the upper right hand section of the classify area of the incident form. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a search just like this one and we're going to place it right in this owned by area, right in the banner between the words owned by and uh, probably replacing the assign to. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to highlight this assign to button, click delete, and for now, I'm going to drop a related item picker control in its place. So here's our related item picker control. I'm going to also select the banner behind this. I'm going to align that control with the middle of that banner so that it is centered with it. And then we'll just extend our related item picker out so that it takes up most of that space. Now one of our required properties for this related item picker is going to be that we select a relationship. Now I don't have that relationship built yet so I'm going to have to create it. So we are going to edit the relationships for this business object. I'm going to name this relationship Incident selects owner. So here we're going to link one user info record. And this relationship is going to be used to populate an owner using a search. All right. Next, we need to define our links for this relationship, which will be a custom link. Now we're doing this so that we can have this relationship auto-populate certain information into certain fields, such as the user's default team into the uh, incident.ownedByTeam field. So our constraint is going to be that userInfo.recID is equal to incident.ownedByID. Now if you have trouble finding incident.ownedByID, the reason for that is that it's located under the system folder. Now we are going to auto-populate user info. Oh, we are not going to auto-populate user info.recid when we add it to the relationship. That would be bad. Um, so we're going to bring that one over. And what we're going to auto-populate is we're going to auto-populate the incident.owned by ID with the user info rec ID. So here I'll select owned by ID incident.owned by ID under the system info. Oops, I selected the wrong business object there. User info dot rec ID. And then we will populate incident.owned by team with user info dot default team name. That should be all that you need to do to create that relationship. Next, we'll add it to our related item picker control. So we'll select our incident selects owner field. And where it says store display text in field, we'll just select owned by, because that's our owned by display name. And that's it. You can define filters here if you'd like to filter this to specific uh, groups in your system. But this is all we need to do to get a search that affects or that allows us to select users that are part of any uh, team. So this is going to be useful for you if you have so many teams that a new user genuinely will not know what team they're trying to or what team a user they're trying to assign something to a user is a member of. So next I'm going to sign into the client tool.
And you'll notice if I open a new incident, I now have this new option to select an owner via the related item picker. So one of the out-of-the-box customers is John Allard. So I'm going to search for John. Oh, there are no Johns. I must have deleted John Allard in my example. We'll try Andrew. Ta-da! We can see Andrew Sims is now the owner. His default team of second level support is populated there automatically. And you also, if you wanted to, you could use the same little arrow button to bring up his user profile. So you can now actually see information about this user. So much like what you could do with a customer record using this little related item picker. So you can see his information like his name, his department, his office, his email address, multiple phone numbers, who his manager is, who their email is, Hopefully you don't need that information. And comments. And we can just as easily clear this out. And if we want to, we can see a list of everybody and we can just kind of select someone and tap through them. Or again, we can search. So I can type in Gina. And as soon as I leave the field, Gina is populated automatically. Uh, that's all that we really had to show today. Uh, if you'd like to see more like this, feel free to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash beyond20llc. Uh, and if you have any questions or would like to request a video, definitely leave a comment in the comment section.